Hello everyone out there, uh, you're watching Exo Photography, my name is Daniel. At the last video I posted on YouTube, uh, we took a look at, uh, just briefly, how I have modded my secondary mirror holder. Because of my telescope has a, a bit larger secondary mirror, it is also heavier. And because it is heavier, I realized I needed a, a bit more uh, rigid uh, solution for holding the mirror up. So I was thinking in this video we could take a closer look at how a secondary mirror holder is, uh, uh, is working, uh, what it's supposed to do, um, containing all bits and bolts and stuff. So um, let's take a closer look at uh, some schematics uh, I've done. So I made a quick sketch of how a, a secondary holder looks like. So what we have here is the secondary mirror and this is the base which the mirror is glued onto. Um, this center bolt here is uh, actually what came delivered uh, with my telescope. It's a um, just ordinary uh, hex bolt going through the uh, the second holder which is attached through these spider veins to the telescope tube these bolts here uh, there is three of them i've just drawn two uh, so it uh, looks um, a bit easier to look at these are the collimation screws which push the uh, base in uh, different directions uh, regarding with uh, which bolt you're turning on so as I mentioned the secondary mirror is a bit larger one to accommodate um, the correct lens I've ordered with my telescope so it's a bit heavier which meant that this bolt uh, which also was spring-loaded uh, with a not so beefy spring it felt like the secondary was out of collimation just within a couple of weeks or with heavy temperature changes. So I thought to myself, okay, so what can I possibly do to make this a bit sturdier? So what I did was first I tried with um, mounting uh, the bolt with the, the spring that followed the telescope and that wasn't... Um, any better than mounting this one uh, without the spring uh, directly attached to this holder. So what I did was I prepared another slide here. What I did was I took a thread rod just like this one and I switched to a, a lot beefier spring. It's it's so hard I can barely squeeze it with my fingers. So what I did was I um, just threaded a regular knot here. Um, I put a washer on and this spring like this. Um, actually the spring I am using is um, it's longer than this one. Uh, this is a spare I tried out with. So what I have done is I slid this through the main body here and threaded it into the holder. And I screwed it so tight so that the distance here with the spring um, squeezed was about half. So plenty of, of movement is possible when I'm adjusting the collimation screws. And when I did the collimation after I have switched out this uh, uh, to a beefy spring and the threaded rod, uh, I immediately felt like, whoa, um, this has a, a lot more tension in it and the sensitivity in the collimation uh, got better, um, I think. And I've only been using it for two weeks now, but 
between the moment I collimated and the first um, uh, photo session with the new setup was um, about three days between those um, moments and it was spot on the collimation. Uh, the star spice, spikes were crossing the stars exactly in the middle um, and the stars were round and nice. So I have a good feeling about this might actually work quite well. So uh, when I'm recording this it's uh, 13th of March and it's getting brighter and brighter outside and I'm just watching the weather forecast and uh, it's cloudy. The weather has been, well, not so good actually. I am hoping to try the new collimation or the new mount of the secondary mirror um, a bit more to make sure it's reliable. Um, I usually, when I do fix things, uh, I want them to work good, um, easy to handle and hold well um, regarding whatever I I usually do um, I want it to to be a good solution please keep following um, to see my small adventures in my observatory uh, astro photographing the the night sky and uh, taking my deep sky objects and the object right now I'm trying to finalize is a galaxy called M82. Uh, I know if you've seen that one before, but it's called uh, the Cigar Galaxy. Uh, it's not a rifle, or maybe it's a rifle um, also, but um, it's a nice galaxy which has a lot of H alpha data in it. Um, I have also started a new project uh, which is a huge galaxy cluster. Uh, which is going to be hopefully amazing um, but when the new full moon is coming up I don't know if I can manage to collect enough data um, before this season is over so I have approximately one month left of the uh, this season and I have some uh, upcoming uh, news for this spring so it's going to be very exciting so Please follow along on my journey. Uh, I hope you like my videos, so please subscribe. Um, have a great one. Bye.